Right now at the University Hospital in Salt Lake City, a Montana man is recovering from a grizzly bear attack. His family says it's a miracle he survived. Yeah, new special Slad Egan spoke with his daughter, joins us live now with more on how this man is doing. Lad, this is incredible. Yeah, Mike and Dini, an incredible story of survival. This man still in the ICU. He is in stable condition, but he's got a long road ahead of him with some reconstructive surgeries. He can't talk because the grizzly bear tore off his lower jaw, but he can write on a whiteboard and he described to his daughter the bear that attacked him and that he didn't have time to do anything except for fight back. A 10 foot mega bear appeared out of nowhere. He had bear spray, his, he had a gun in his hand and the bear, he said, from the moment he saw it to it was on him was one second. He, I'll just fight. And that's what he did. So he tried to shoot, his gun misfired, and then he tried to punch the bear. He punched it in the nose. And then right after a punch in the nose, the bear locked on to his jaw and ripped his jaw off. The attack happened on Friday in Custer Gallatin National Forest near Big Sp Sky, Montana. According to the family, 61-year-old Rudy Norlander was helping two hunters track a deer they'd shot. During the search, they first came across a small adult grizzly, and then Norlander encountered the much larger aggressive bear. The two hunters heard the screaming and threw rocks and yelled to scare the bear away. Norlander had initial emergency surgery in Bozeman and then was flown here to Utah for more advanced care. The family says the extent of his injuries are severe, but that he's already making progress. So to see the strongest person I know not okay is terrible. It's like horrifying, but he's so strong that I think his like just sheer will will push him through this. He actually got to stand up and take a couple steps today. So he walked, which is insane to say three days after a bear attack, missing your full lower face, you're getting up and walking, but he's amazing. In addition to the injury to his jaw, Norlander suffered injuries to his trachea, a huge scratch on his chest, a collapsed lung, and bites to his arm and thigh. So tomorrow, he'll undergo the first of many surgeries to reconstruct his lower jaw. The family says it's at that point that they will learn whether he'll be able to speak again. So they are hoping for that good news. They have created a GoFundMe for people to help with his medical bills. We've got a link right now on our website. Mike and Dini, you know, he's got so many injuries there, but the family says that he still has his sense of humor and all of his kindness. On that whiteboard today, when he woke up, he wrote that his goal for today was to make someone smile. So thinking of others in just a very desperate time for himself. Back to you. Yeah, mission accomplished. Incredible story there. Just glad he's alive. Lad, thank you.